Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and this is going to be the most laid-back video <laughs> I've ever made in my life. Also, we're at 20,000 views. So, I'm not, I'm not going to beat around the bush. This is an April Fool's video, but it's also one I've wanted to do for a long time, because I'm weird and I watch weird things. Uh, I'm going to edit a video, <laughs> and this is going to be my ABO, so... Yeah, it's going to be like the most laid back thing in the world. And as proof of that, I literally have magic cards right next to me so I can look through decks while I'm recording this. And then I'll just cut around to different parts of me cutting around. Yeah, this video is mainly edited already, but there are a couple things I, I know I need to do. Plus the end slate, which is super crispy, so let it commence. <laughs> <laughs> this is the stupidest, stupidest content I've ever made. There is a definitely a haze. Oh, hello. Oh. Hold on. Wait a minute. There is one thing that I've been reading on Reddit recently, and it's really satisfied, or they don't really like the... the, uh... the haze that's over everything. There is a Okay. Real quick. I'm curious. Photoshop. Um... Breath of of the wild haze gone. This is one of the things that I will uh, I'll I'll do. It's common for me to do in videos. Uh, if there's ever something that pops into my head, I'm like that would look cool in editing. I typically try it. Sometimes this doesn't work out. For example, I I'm not sure if this one will work out. Really that sad. it looks terrible. <laughs> Uh, at first I was like, oh, that looks good, but if you look at Hart there, his his white is more like green. What about, back down to 50. People aren't really satisfied, or they don't really like... That looks better? The... In my opinion? The, uh... That looks a lot better. The haze that's over everything. There is a definitely... There isn't much of oh, a haze anymore, as I have a conversation with myself. Let's go down to 40, though. And, and just to make sure I'm not crazy, down to zero. There's the haze, and that actually looks wrong now. But at 40? That's not bad. There's Here, here, let me... Instead of just being sold on that, let's do a combination. Because the problem is with the, the contrast, is that means that in dark areas, it's going to look really weird, because lights will be bright white, and... Um, and darks will be much darker. So let's go down to 30. Okay, and then, but, but we will bump down the brightness by 10. People aren't really that looks so much better. Really okay, but we can run it together here. Recently, I'm running around. This is with the haze. There is one thing that I've been reading on Reddit recently, and, and it was that people aren't no really haze. Satisfied, or they don't Alex. really like the. Try it again. Oh wait, I I can still full screen it. Although, haze. There is one thing that I've been reading on Reddit Three, recently, two, and it one. was that people aren't no haze really satisfied, or they don't really like the. Okay, I'm gonna try editing this video with this setting on from here on out, and to do this, there's a nice shortcut that I can do instead of going through every single clip and changing the attributes, I'll just make note of this one. Uh, neg 10 and 30, got it. So for this, I will make it neg 10 and 30 and make sure that it does it for the entire video. It does. Uh, just make sure, though, I will put two more keyframes there. And then, I will copy the keyframe attributes of the longest thing, because it copies the keyframes as well. I'm ignoring the cutscene, because the cutscene is, you know, it does not have the haze. So I will paste... Can I select all and paste them? No. But I can do it inv individually. So paste. And just as an example, this... Looks like that, but without it, 
it looks like this. I still think the ladder looks better. It's darker, yes, but overall I think it looks better. And, of course, I can tweak it from here on out, but I, I like that. I have Future Pal right here uh, in different fonts as as uh, templates. I also have... <laughs> that's an old one. That's from Pikmin 1. Uh, but I have Zelda. Let's throw that in. And I would like this to end right there. One thing I would like to note is that titles or fades or anything don't feel constrained by the duration, okay? Feel constrained by what it looks like because so many times I've tried to get a round number for titles, whether it's three seconds, two seconds, or uh, just a round number. But if that doesn't fit the episode, because, I mean, if you're watching a video, you don't necessarily notice if something lasts for a, a solid two seconds. And you don't notice that it's around. If I add or remove a frame, even if you're someone who practiced, practices frame-perfect inputs in games, you're never going to notice that. Because you're not counting it, you know, you're reading what it says. So, for this, I make the title the length that it should be, not what looks good not what it, what the OCD part of me would dictate. So if you're doing that, don't. Like you can see here. There's a haze that's over everything. There is a, definitely a haze. Oh, hello. Oh, 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 oh. You can see that it starts when it needs to and it ends when it needs to. And in fact, let's, no, that's fine. I was going to say I could add a fade. You know what, I'm going to add a fade. So this starts at that, so if I move it over, that'll affect another thing, but I'm editing the video, so I'll see it. So move it over. It starts at 8 frames, so it needs to go to 23. Okay, so 23 is 15 frames. Yeah. Okay, insert and move all clips. That should that should have worked for another thing later in this video. And then I'll extend this. So what ends up happening here is that, but I'll put a 15 frame fade on it, and that way it fades right in. That's that's beautiful. Okay, so with that in mind, I'll extend this to where it would fade in. So now, they fade in together. That's another thing, uh, f having two things fade in or out at the same time uh, tag usually looks better. But it all, obviously it does depend on what you're doing. But for here, here uh, it fades in right as the title fades out. There. there it is. I think that's a firefly or a treasure, so I can keep that in mind. But also, one thing I noticed is that open world games like Zelda, Skyrim, Minecraft, I tend to speak in a little oh, bit more of a monotone, wait, wait, monotonal voice. I'm already Kakariko Village. Oh, and well, okay. Here, let me turn this down so I can think. And I, that's because I I the episodes be are typically longer. Running into an ambush. Hello. Who are you? And so, Travel, since they're I'm longer, sorry, I'm a little bit more relaxed ankle. because I'm not actively playing the game. I'm just going from point A to point B. I'm There's sorry, less to think like about, that. and so I talk Same a little bit more job. laid back. Whereas in Pikmin, everything is going on at once, and I have to find a way to juggle talking about what I want to talk about and what the game forces well, me to. And so I end up I'm using more years old. more tones in my commentary to differentiate the two... Time. I'm a bit, I differentiate the I'm two bit, uh, and different and subjects, I guess. The other side? I really need to be careful of saying that. So, for this, I could be cutting out a bunch of, d of stuff, like me buying everything, but also, it's the first time I'm ever doing that, so I'll leave that in, and in the future I cut it out. In fact, I, I remember the next episode, which I do a preliminary edit on most of these. In fact, this one I probably would have just shipped, but I wanted to edit out, uh, a few things anyway. Um, this is the third but time the today. first time I ever do something Ellie in Charles editing, in Let's Playing, yes. I typically show most yes, of it, you, unless there's a you, long period of time where I'm silent. For example, here. Kind of creepy. All right. For example, here, right here. Mm. What I'm doing, I've already shown 
It, it's called it, well, actually the the official term for it is cutting to continuity. So if you see if you have a cut of someone walking to the right, okay, you can you don't have to show them crossing an entire room or football field or what have you because you already assume people assume that that person is going to continue to walk to the right. They're not going to turn around and go the other way, and if they do, it's going to be shown. So by this point. You guys already know what buying and selling looks like, and so I cut it out. And I cut it out for some comedic value as well, because I'm gushing over the mask here. All right. Here, let me turn myself up. There we go. I'm gushing over it, and then I instantly cut to buying it. Yes. Moan and stuff. Now, my reaction here yes. could have been better. But yes. I, I wasn't expecting to edit that out, but yes. I did. Moan. Now, what I could do here is instead yes. of this, instead of me saying yes. yes, I can cut out this. So the, mm. the first thing they see is that. Moan. Next thing they see Moan. is me purchasing Stuff. it. That, that can work. Now, maybe a few more frames, though. On that, right after the yes, just a couple more frames. It makes a difference. Moan. There, stuff. that's much better. That's much better. That way, people can actually have time to register that there was a cut, and then the the, the comedic value of me gushing and then instantly buying it. You guys can see that I wasn't going to, but then I sold all of my belongings and my very soul to buy a sick man that. bun. <laughs> that man bun on the back of my head. Oh, it's so cool. So it starts right there. It's like it's 2015 all over again. Good old year of the scarf. That was a great year. Yeah. All right. Cool. Now, I would have loved it if I said 2014, but I did not remember it correctly. But it's instead like of having future pal, it's 20 or me, I guess, clutter up this shot with by saying, you know, 2014, I'm just doing it here, and it fixes it for me, so. All over again. Um, it's not that I forgot. So this it's one, you you could call it subliminal, I'm not, because it's not subliminal, subliminal, but told me I throw up Lin from Xenoblade Chronicles X as soon as, as, soon as I say, or I read Lin. Um, this one isn't really a joke necessarily it's just a cool detail for anyone who's actually watching this and not leaving it up in their browser to make note of I edit the overlay here to match the light so I increase the contrast of Lynn of her image uh, so that it looks like she's directly under direct light so the shadows are more drastic uh, I also darkened it because it's a little bit dark here. How content ID works, and this is really the meat of the of the editing process right now in the game, where I'm not cutting a ton out. Uh, I have to dodge content ID ID wherever possible, but frames that Link is in, as far as I can tell, cannot be caught cannot match visual content ID. Because there, there are infinite number of combinations I could have for clothes. I could t be taking off clothes too. Like, there are so many different combinations that they're not going to try and content ID every possible combination. Instead, they'll take some of these really the sneaky shots. Oh yeah, input that. Right here, I, I dollars to dozens. That's content ID'd. You know why? It's not a cutscene, as we're used to him in the game, but it does not show Link. And so, no matter what playthrough you're on. This cutscene, also the windows are dark, notice that? They're, they're like, blocked out. It's not because it's dark, it's because they're blocked out. So this will be the same for every single playthrough of the game. And so this is where they try to get you with Content ID. They also try to get you in the menus for constants, like A, loading screens, B, um, menus asking you if you want to do something, like, are you sure you want to do that? That's where they'll get you. So now, for a couple frames, Everything looks like oh, it's yeah, from Okami. That. Maybe right I there. Kid or I mean, I think that's enough to dodge content content ID. 
Now, there's there are a couple problems here. Here and there. I dodged the, the visual copyright on co content ID, sorry. But I did not match the audio. And that one will get you every time. Sound effects, music, everything is content ID. Uh, in fact, if you could, if you want an indication, go to video manager here. And content ID, okay. Content ID, 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 ID. ID. I'll show you what they even they claimed here as well. Now, I, if you're worried, I don't get strikes from this. It's just a it's just they get the rights to my video so they get to put their ads on my video and this time we well yeah okay I, I know exactly what this is this is where I get uh, Gollum so let's I get, get our, the spirit orb our spirit orb. but for this what I need to do is now put some music you might have noticed for I think last episode in one of the major cutscenes or one of the older episodes I think it was episode it's episode six, uh, which came out today when I'm recording this. I put music over from other Zeldas over the cutscenes. So what I'm doing is I'm essentially this is kind of new for the channel. I'm rescoring some of the the cutscenes in this game with different music from different portions of other Zelda games. Uh, this MP3 thing, it's sketchy. Don't look at it. Technically, I own the game, so I already own the music. So. It kind of works, but album Skyward Sword, and it follows fair use. And I'm not redistributing. I'm not kind of not redistributing. It, I guess I kind of am, but in copyright dodge, once again, I'm teaching you guys the way to be a criminal. That starts at the exact right time. I eyeballed that very well and make it negative 10 because we don't want it to be loud and we don't want it to drown out Impa actually saying something uh, maybe I could still too loud we just want it to be enough to drown out the normal music or at least distort it enough to dodge content ID uh, maybe I could get her close I mean sorry I did it again so you're finally awake It has been quite a long so this music's coming, perfect. And thus, the plan to neutralize Ganon was Okay, so I'm seeing this cutscene go in three parts. One, uh, with the very... Very somber... And low-key Zant's theme. The other part will be talking about the ancient race. I'm thinking of using Laneru for that, the Laneru region. And it's a neat little throwback to the highly advanced civilization. I like that. But in the end. Oh, for the record, just because I don't know how I kind of cut that out. For the beginning here, the real truth. I decided to go with Zant's theme because it's dark like the original, but it. It's not high pitched like the original, and like I said, the original is kind of. Uh, I'm not a big fan of it. It sounds too much like a bedtime story. And then when they, he, when she's talking about the ancient civilization, was I bring in Laneru mining facility past because I'm pretty sure that's what it's referring to. It makes sense. Like we've seen it before. Same blue glow. Same, same thing. It's that's what it's referring to. And then right here. Okay, that that I need to fix. There, that sounds really good. And then I'm using Gandorf's transformation from Toilet Princess. Fading into the legendary hero. and then fading out to black. Being paid in compensation for being goaded? I'd be so rich.
at, at least for the end slate's sake, because the end slates are cool, and they look great, and I love them. They're so much better than that old old thing I used to do, which I'll probably never go back to. Which I can't actually go back to, because after, yeah, after May 2nd, annotations are gone. Which is really sad, because I had a cool system, uh, here. Back in Okami and Wind Waker, I had a system where <coughs> I would make annotation videos. So I would have a list of collectibles, like so, once it loads. And people could click on the annotations and be taking specific collectibles. It's, there you go. And the quality's low right now because the internet's weird. But you would click on them and it would take you to the specific collectible and it was really useful. But alas, that's going to be gone. Man, I'm really high up. Now these videos will stay and they'll they'll be I'm in their there, all their so glory. We'll both of those next but time. Still. Thank you guys so much for watching. All right. So now here's the the meat of the episode of the uh video that I'm doing here. 30 seconds and 15 frames. So that's 30 and a half seconds. So end slates are something I do, and they, I don't want to say they take up the majority of the editing process, but they are very, are they complex enough to make note of? Now Pikmin is a little bit more co uh, convoluted, but this is easier. So what I do here is I have previews, which I have already prepared for the purposes of this video. Um, just close these, bring up Breath of the Wild. This is episode 9, so I'll also save this. So episode 9, I have the preview. No, no, wait, wait, wait. I have preview. There we go. Now this is the preview of episode 10 that I have already prepped. And it happens to be exactly 30 seconds, I hope. No, okay. There's an editing error, but that's fine. I'll go to 1. 1 frame and trim off that frame. Alright, so I'll also grab a folder. I have a folder called edit, which I have pre-prepared all of the things I need to edit off a video and finish it. I have temporary end slate, which is the first one which Ryan made. I have the new one, which looks amazing and beautiful. And then I have one that's shif shifted up, and that's all I need. So I'll put that one right in here. Make sure it is the right length. Now I don't don't put fades on these yet because it can mess up with the positioning of the preview video. So I do that, and then I need to grab Okami or not Okami. Really? I I made that slip up. I need to gr grab Pikmin episode. This is nine. Let me look at my calendar here. Episode 14. Do Have I edited 14 yet? No, I have not. Okay, so... No, it'd be 13. Yeah, it'd be 13. Which I have not finished editing. What I need to do is, if I'm running this preview first, then the first 15 seconds need to be of something... of the thing I want to show off. If I'm running the this preview second, then they need to be the last 15 seconds. As it stands, 15 seconds, that's what I want. So then, uh, you know what? It's one frame shorter, but that's fine. It's the exportation pro process removes a frame, but I have a I have a quick fix. Because it's one frame short, I will go to Power Tools, go to Video Speed, and make it exactly 30 seconds. You can see that it doesn't change the like the the speed multiplier at all. It's really just adding one frame and ex and giving Hello? one more frame of sound. Wow, he did the the quick the quick get up. So you can't tell that it's different at all, but normally I don't do that. Normally I actually edit that together better, but that's fine. So now what I do is the preview is is right here. It's the Pikmin it shows the episode of Pikmin that is current and what I do is I leave a one second window of overlap between the two so that I can do this 
I make it silent, and then put it at normal volume, and then for this one, I do the opposite. I make it fade in as the other one fades out. So they're transitioning and they overlap each other. And then what I need to do is go over to Pikmin and put that in the end slate frame. So just there. Normally I do like to leave a little bit of a little bit of overlapping so that the the frame cuts into it a little bit so it doesn't show the whole clip. Just because sometimes editing softwares can glitch out a little bit, so you might see you might be able to see through it if I matched tried to match it perfectly. And this is kind of universal across editing softwares. And then for this one, that's that's good. So now that's done, but there's one other thing I need to do. Go to 14, 15, right when the it, this one starts fading in. Fix Enhance. In case you're wondering, which I never really mentioned it, but this is Power Director 14 uh, Ultimate Suite. So what I do here, normally I have these reversed, so this one's here and this one's here, but I'm not in this scenario. Oops. Make it a 50. So now, uh, this one is dark when the other one is bright. And then, as it fades in, it goes to the full values. And this one is the opposite. So 40. And this isn't a magical number, it just, it's what I found looks the best. And then 1415. It has the full values. So the result is what you see in the episode where you're watching Pikmin on the left here. It's the most recent episode. Awesome. If you're watching this series, then you get to see a glimpse into the other series. Um, or maybe you just forgot to watch it and you're like, hey, that, that looks interesting. And I'll, I'll go click that video. So it's doing that. This is dark. So you could be watching this too. But uh, otherwise, your attention is automatically drawn he's to this. He's doing it again. He's dead. Uh, and then it fades out. And this fades blade. in. <laughs> and it shows a brief clip. Now, finally, well, actually, no, there are two finalies. Um, I need to cut in. I need to bring in some music, and I also need to put fades on here, which I'll do that after I bring in the music because I'll need to put fades on the music anyway. One of the things that I've been wanting to do, or that I, I have to do, there's no want about it, I'm forced to do it, is I use end slates as an opportunity to show off the game's OST. Because the game has a great OST. But, there's a problem with that uh, not coinciding well with the previews. So what I'm forced to do is make it very quiet, so that you have to listen real close. And it's actual background music instead of. Whoa, that's wow! He did the the quick. Yeah, so it's actually background up, music. Or the the slogan up, I mean. You barely instantly. notice it. That was. But I think it works. So now all I need to do to finish off the video is put some fades on here, and I make it the same fade overall because it's so complicated. If I had different fade timers, then it would just make it a little bit too convoluted. And there wouldn't be much finesse to that. So, one second flat for the end. Now, for Pikmin, the complicated thing that I do for the background, as you notice, I have a treasure. I don't think... I think this has been without exception. No, no, there's been one exception, because there was a day I didn't get any treasure. And then also a half-second timer for these. Half-second fade. Um... I will take a treasure and loop the animation of it um, being examined uh, after you get it back to the ship. Now, f at first, what I was going to do was just leave that animation running for 30 seconds and then cut that out in post. But what I ended up doing, just to keep continuity in the episode, make it so I'm not 
getting off rhythm or off tempo or suddenly changing subjects because time passed for me and not you is I'll just loop the animation in post so I'll find a a portion where say it's t being tilted down and then I'll cut it there and then loop it for 30 seconds and that's been working well but Zelda does not have that Whoa, that that's... trial wow he... and so there we go this is there's the end slate it's all done and that is actually the end of this video once again this is not supposed to be a very exciting video and originally I was going to <laughs> I was going to hype it up because of April Fools to make it sound really exciting um, like I'd make a cut and then suddenly scream from hype but you know what no um, I've been wanting to make this for a long time and I haven't seen, no, none of the other YouTubers I watch do this kind of thing, where they'll just show them editing an actual episode that they're releasing, but I decided to do here. It's an interesting change of pace, and it's a weird ABO, and yeah. Now, if you're wondering how long it took me to edit a video, this is a 27-minute video, and or almost 28, and I've been editing it for two hours. And this is a, a fairly simple video to edit. Now, granted, I did stop at points to talk about some of the things that I was doing. But overall, this is a pretty simple timeline. That's This is fairly simple. But other videos are much more complex. And so it takes much Who's more that? time. It's much, a much longer amount of time. Bye. But that is... How I edit a video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this in any capacity, also, props to you if you watched the entire thing. I can I get that this isn't everyone's cup of tea. Obviously, this video isn't two hours long, but it's still not exciting at all. I'm not really doing anything. But if you're if you're someone who edits, then feel free to give me tips or tell me what you might have learned or do differently. Because most of what I do is self-taught. While I've taken college classes. I've still taught myself a lot of different techniques, so join me later. And also, tell me what you think of the edited out haze, because it still has it. Like, this is this entire video is edited to make the haze less apparent, and I think it looks fairly good. But it's something that I'll refine in the future. Alright, join me in another video. See ya! Here, let me just go here, hit produce, and done.